Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Make Humans to create any of the 3D avatar and finally import into Blender with the correct facial skeletons that you can animate any of the facial expression included close the eyes, blinking, and also open mouth, lip sync, etc. So start from now, I'm going to show you step by step. First, you'll be inside the Make Humans. All right. As demo, I'm going to just create a fresh new project here. So I will just close this without saving. And then I re reopen it again, make human. The make human community. You can just scroll down, go to my video description to get the Make Human community from its official sites. I already put the link at there, the official link. So after you open the Make Humans community, just wait for a while. Now it is loading. And once you already open it, what you're going to do is just go to give a clue. For example, if this is a female or this is a male, I just give give a clove. You can choose it from here. Then I back to the modeling. You can adjust the gender to be a man or a woman. Then the second one is just adjust the age. You can make him become a baby or a boy, etc. Then, African, Asian, Caucasian, the age. Next is the geometry. I already given the clue. Then I will just give him a hair, a topology, no need to change. The eyebrow, I will give, give an eyebrow, the hair. Then give him a teeth base and the eyebrow, eyelashes, give one. The hairstyle, short. Right, next is just the eyes. Always remember, you can choose high poly or low poly eyes. It is up to you. The tongue, just give him a tongue. Then go to the material, choose the skin color. So for this time, I will just choose the Caucasian. The young Caucasian male, just an example. Then, under the material, I go to change the eyes color as well. Then, under the post, just choose a post here. Choose the skeleton first, choose the default. Then, the post, just scroll down, choose the T post. Done. Right. Then, under the expression, just do not choose. WhatsApp zero zero one notification. Because you already have the facial skeleton. Later, you can animate by using the facial skeleton in Blender 3.6. So at this stage, you can just export as FBX. But as demo, I'm going to just save as a backup. I click File, Save. Browse on my desktop here. Under my desktop, I'm going to name a folder model. 02. Then I will save the make human project file first. Model 02. Save. Then export as FBX. Alright. Export as FBX in meter scale is if it is for Blender. But then if you directly use it, it will have the problem. So I'm going to show you the problem as well. Now. Model 02. Meter. Meter is for the scale. I click export. I choose the folder first. 
on my desktop, model 02, export as FBX, model 02 underscore meter, click save. So now it really exported as FBX, then I choose another scale, what we call decimeter. Decimeter. I browse. Same one. Model 02. Decimeter. Alright, just look at the scale. If I directly import into the Blender, I'm going to just start a new project, a new, new Blender project. I don't save this. I press A to delete everything. If I try to import directly, the FBX from my desktop, model 02. For the blender, I import as meter because for each of the scale, it is a meter. But you can see there will be a, a skeleton issue here and I am unable to fix this. But to fix this, I have another way, just using the Unreal Engine. So I close the Unreal Engine. I don't save it, this. I'll just open the Unreal Engine. The Unreal Engine is a really free software. You can go to the Unreal official site to download it from the Epic Game Launcher. It is really free for you. And I'm going to use the Unreal Engine to fix the problem. So now the Blender, if I direct import the FBX as the decimeter scale, the dec decimeter is a very big scale. You can see it, it will become a giant size. It is also not correct. So. I'm going to press A and delete everything first. So I'm going to use the Unreal Engine to create a fresh new game project, a third person game project. The project name is My Project 12. I click create. And now just wait for a while. Now the Unreal Editor is launching. It is going to load a fresh new game project. And of course, in this, this tutorial, I'm not going to show show you how to use the Unreal Engine to, to create a game. No, this is not the purpose of this tutorial. But the Unreal Engine in this scenario is just to fix, to fix the skeleton problem. So the first step, just click the window under the content browser, open the content browser one. Then drag and drop to the bottom. Then click the content. Here, right click to create a new folder, make humans. All right, just double enter to enter the folder. Next, what you can do is just, just import the model 02 in decimeter format. The model 02, drag and drop into Unreal Engine, then click import all. Look at the summary. If you if you direct import the make human FBX into Blender 3.6, the skeleton issue can't fix. So the correct way is correct step. Just export the FBX from MakeHuman in decimeter scale, then import the FBX into Unreal Engine 5.3, then export as FBX again. The skeleton issue automatic fix, and the scale is correct. So now, once it, it already imported into the Unreal Engine, it is going to show you a message log. You can just close this. Then now have a look. Just find out the skeleton mesh. This, this is the one. If you double click to open, this is the one. So right click the skeleton mesh, select asset action, export, then export as FBX on the desktop, model 02. So the F FBX name, I'm going to name this as fix by UE, fixed by Unreal Engine. This is the FBX that we are going to save. Then, the exported compatibility, we choose the FBX 2011. This is the best, just click export. Then, next, check back your folder. The one fixed by the UE already exported, just open your Blender. Then click File, Import FBX from the folder, 
same folder, model 02 fixed by UE, just double click to open. Now you can see everything is in scale. For the grid in Blender, for every grid, every single grid, it is one meter times one meter. So this, the scale also get fixed already. Click here, then click viewport display to show it in front. The octahedral change it to stake that just check the facials, the facial bones. But before that, you need to fix the material. Click, then go to material. Find out the eyes mesh, it is the high poly. Scroll down, change the blend mode to alpha hash, then it will automatically get fixed. And then now look at the skins, it is like a copper reflection. So we go to fix the body material. The body material is this one, model 02, decimeter 1. Scroll down, the metallic change it to become 0. We try to have a look now. Because of this is the human skin, we no need the metallic. Now everything get fixed already. We try to try to animate this. Try to post this. We go to the post mode. Try to open the mouth and have a check. Now everything get fixed. Okay, ready. So if I want to try to let him smile, I click this. Move it up. Smile, smile, wait, smile, no, this is rotation. Seem that all of this, all of these are quite quite normal. You can animate the facial. Right. So all of the facial. Let's say if I want the eye blink, just manipulate this. To rotate the eyes should be this. Yes. Everything you, you can animate properly just by setting the keyframe. There's nothing difficult. Right. So everything already get fixed. And we already successfully exported the Make Human 3D avatar that designed in Make Human community. 1.2.0 and by using the Unreal Engine, it can fix fix the skeleton problem. Finally, the perfect avatar with facial skeleton already in Blender 3.6 and you can use this for your 3D animations and further 3D modeling to modify it. All right, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my videos, tutorials and sharing, if you feel all these tutorials and sharings are very helpful to your 3D modeling, 3D animation and 3D game developing. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish new videos, tutorials or sharing, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy happy 3D modeling, 3D animation and 3D game developing. See you.